Wednesday Wire. I'm your host, Carrie Gallagher. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, click that button, and buckle up because you're about to get inoculated with mediocre jokes. Let's dive in. A Utah city has been forgiving parking tickets in exchange for food donations. Moved by the kindness, Governor Cuomo of New York said, okay, I'll start recognizing old people as actual human beings. Google has announced that it will evaluate the performance of its vice presidents on team diversity and inclusion starting this year. And no worries, um, all of those VPs will be fine now that off-white and beige are classified as diverse races. Move over, Gina Carano and Chris Harrison. There's a new resident on Canceled Island. Yep, Marilyn Manson. So clean out the pantry to make room for his makeup, leather leggings, and troll doll collection. Evan Rachel Wood and four other women have come forward with abuse allegations against Manson. One victim even said, Marilyn Manson almost destroyed me. I know... I know we're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, uh, but uh, in this in this case, the cover is accurate. And I'm not. I feel I feel very sorry for all of the victims. And you know, the good news is this guy is getting a one way ticket to Canceled Island. He's never going to come back. And I just really hope that Gina Carano is into blood play because things get weird on Canceled Island. Madonna's daughter Lourdes was announced as the face of Marc Jacobs, which really grinds my gears. Nepotism is the worst. Like in order to succeed in the modeling world, you have to have a famous parent. There are girls out there from Ohio and Minnesota that are trying to live off of ice chips and celery sticks to ensure they have a thigh gap the size of Lincoln Tunnel, and, and it's all for naught. It is all for naught. Is there no justice? At the end of the day, these poor girls are just left with a deflated sense of self-worth and an insatiable appetite for booger sugar, which is, you know, the only calorie-free candy out there, right, folks? Is there no justice? Demi Lovato revealed that she had a heart attack and three strokes after a near fatal overdose. And that would explain all the crappy music. Okay, I'm just kidding. I actually like this pop star and I support anybody that's in recovery. Please don't send me to Canceled Island. Tim Tebow is officially retiring from professional sports. Wait, is this a line from 2012? Oh, oh, we're counting his time in AAA with the Mets. Ooh, okay, well, uh, I guess this virgin is finally tapping out. So enjoy retirement, Tim. Before you know it, you'll be sponsored by Just for Men and Skechers. Wendy's is launching a new chicken sandwich. The delicious treat features a spicy chicken filet served with jalapeno cream cheese, jalapeno slices, smoked bacon, cheddar cheese, and shredded pepper jack cheese all on a toasted bun. Comes with a side of fries, but uh, it should come with a bidet. I feel bad for all the Starbucks bathrooms that are just gonna get assaulted by this new chicken sandwich. Uh, I do enjoy the fact that all of the fast food chains are in this crazy chicken sandwich war. It's kind of like the 90s rap wars. Um, but like less hot bods and more grimace shaped bods. And, and people are dying in this chicken sandwich war, okay? It's just not from bullets and knife fights. It's uh, the hypertension and, and clogged arteries. At the very least, diabetes is gonna get your foot. So eat more spinach and practice gun safety. Well, folks, that's been this episode of the Wednesday Wire. Make sure you subscribe. Get the vaccine or not, I really don't care. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Cheers!